to be absolutely sure that I'm recording. I did that Spelunky stream earlier in the week and forgot to record it. Oh yeah, anytime I'm streaming, uh, if anybody in chat could help me out and just send me a message like, hey, make sure you're recording this. Because it definitely wouldn't hurt for me to double check. Alright, oh, I have some differences this time. Uh, anybody who was watching um, earlier in the week when I was doing Ocarina of Time and stuff, I'm now implementing the Twitch chat into archived videos. So hey, say hi, Mr. Wankman. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have something new to do this week, too. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn down the music here. Oh, I have something new to do this week. And uh, all week I've been compiling this. You can hear the stream looping. What does that mean? All week I've been What's looping? This. You can hear the is it? Looping? What does that mean? Oh, oh god, I know what it is. Oh, um, I had um, Twitch. Yeah, I heard Twitch. Op I had Twitch open in a window, and I forgot to mute it. So yeah, I guess uh, for the first couple minutes of this, everything is going to be playing twice if you're watching it on video. Oops. But, okay, that should be corrected now. Uh, yeah, so, as I was saying, I have a video game playlist, that a uh, music playlist that I've been compiling. So I'm going to have that running in the background. I've got like 220 songs, and they are going to play on shuffle. I'm starting out with this one, if you can hear it. Let me know how the volume is on the music, because I don't want it to drown out my voice, obviously. Is it loud? Is it obnoxious? And can you hear it? Can you hear it, and can you hear me? fantasy songs? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, it's all just uh, video game music for now. Hey, check it out. The dwarves are hunting. It's the spinner who caught... What is that? A wild boar. I don't think we have a kitchen or a butcher shop in this fort yet, though. I really need to carve one of those out. So this whole, like, so far the whole playlist, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that I'm playing, like, well-known music, but I also want it to be music that I would be able to identify at a moment's notice. <clears throat> oh yeah, I don't... Yeah, it's all video game music for now. We got Link to the Past playing right now. So anybody, if anybody is watching right now who wasn't here last week, we started on a reclaimed fortress. And this is one generated by the game itself. So that's why we have these rooms that I did not dig out that were here when I got here. Okay. Oh yeah, and I remember I discovered something pretty difficult about this environment is... There are no trees above ground. I remember that much. So we gotta go down underground and like dig up cave trees. Do, have I gotten to the underground? I hope so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. And this is a little uh 
Oh yeah, I remember now. We started to get underground last time, right? Cut down a few underground trees. I think that happened, right? We have a wood stockpile here, right? Yeah? Where's the wood, guys? To make sure your fortress isn't cluttered, make sure your stockpiles use those links. What links are those? I need, like, a hotkey leading to the underground here. Hmm. Oh, pfft. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, TW Croc had some problems. He had some mining problems. Oh, somebody apparently is hunting giant rats down here. Oh, look at him go. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, where are they hauling these giant rats to? I need to follow this dwarf and find out what he's doing with all these corpses. that killed the fortress in the world and is still there somewhere? Are we sure about that? Maybe somebody else killed it. Okay, I guess he's just making a pile of corpses here in the dining room. What good is this supposed to do? Oh. Let me make... A butcher shop. Where is butcher shop? It's a U. Oh, so the forgotten beast that killed this fort is still around somewhere? That's spooky. Okay, we need some doors here. I think this time I need to, uh, I need to make, like, cage traps. Oh, the wiki says it's certainly there. Ooh. Well, this might be another short-lived fort, then, if we run into that Forgotten Beast really soon. Why don't we have any wood, though? I thought I had these dwarves chopping trees down here. Are they just really small trees? There's a tree. Uh, here's some trees. Cut those down. Um, cut those down. There we go. Wait, do I have a woodcutter right now? Okay, yes. Here's the woodcutter. Let's make sure he's actually doing it. Hopefully it's under the fortress's generated shafts that went in and under the magma. Yeah, that would be the best. There was some kind of weird generation how uh, this pre-generated fort apparently transcends magma a bit. Oh, the woodcutter is exploring all kinds of new ground down here. Is he just, like, getting one log from every tree or something? Or are they all falling in a pile? Oh, he's only getting, like, two from every tree. This fungi wood is not very good. Oh, and there are some bismuth bronze bolts, I guess, from the hunter. Cut down some of these trees. Boom. <laughs> hmm. It looks like we have a lot of wood down here. 
Oh, uh, the, the damn hunter is stinking up the dining room now. Oh man, that's another thing we need. We need lots of barrels, because the dwarves are getting thirsty. Let's make some of those. I need barrels and barrels of booze. I'm very concerned for my dwarves. As this cheerful Mario music plays. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad to cover the silence. I also figure people probably get tired of hearing the uh, regular old Dwarf Fortress music over and over. I mean, I know I do. For me, um... Like, after a while, if a, uh, if a fort is, like, really successful, it, uh, Dwarf Fortress kind of becomes my watching a movie game. You know, something kind of low maintenance that I can have going on in the background and watch a movie in my other monitor. This music's pretty dwarfy, I think. Alright, so we have no water source. That just means we need a lot of booze. I guarantee you as soon as this gets brewed, they're gonna draw they're gonna run right the hell up to that still and just drink it straight from the tap. NES music, I think. Oh, they're sleeping on the floor of the dining room, and they're getting really thirsty in the dining room. Oh, too OCD to let the game ever run in the background. <laughs> Takes up to a few weeks to get through one year, oh man. Oh man, oh man, they don't have any water. Oh, this is bad. I tried to like dig underground because, you know, maybe we would find water in the caves, but... I have not been seeing any water down here. I see a cave crocodile. I would prefer if that cave crocodile wasn't there. I need a mechanics workshop so we can start making traps. so thirsty. And we're auto-saving. I'm gonna feel so dumb if I let these dwarves die of, like, a booze drought. drink some of these dank tunes. <laughs> so I've, I've, I said that I put like 200 songs in this game music playlist. I'd like to add even more too, so that the same songs aren't playing multiple times. Ooh! The armorer is possessed! When did this happen? Oh god. Oh, this is a problem too, because we don't have a forge yet. Oh, okay. We gotta hurry here, I think. We gotta build some floors here. Okay. Wait, I need a floor, like... Right here. Oh, man. We need a lot of stones for this, too. 
Okay. Fingers crossed that we get this built in time for the armorer to not go insane. I mean, I think I technically don't have to build this over the lava. Like, it, I don't think it necessarily has to be a magma forge. Because I think when a dwarf is in a strange mood, they don't need any kind of fuel to make their item. But I just want to have it there for the future. I don't want to have to rebuild the forge somewhere else. We've got a pretty nice, like, naturally enclosed space here to make the forge on also. How do you usually do exploratory mining? Because I've never done actual mining for it. It always feels weird when a level is just full of small hallways. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, you mean exploring the caves or just like digging around for ores in the regular levels? So if it's in the caves, I just, you know, have them, uh, you know, dig some random squares far away. Oh, in the solid rock? I'll usually, what I do in that situation is I will just have them dig out strips like this and just go in one direction like that. And whenever they find ores, I have them dig in that direction. We have a lot of visitors now, look at this. Oh, what was that? A goblin bard? Hmm, I don't like that. I don't trust them. Okay. We need... Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, the Rhythmic Plagues, a performance troupe is visiting. That sounds kind of metal. Alright. Oh, no, wait. I don't need a magma smelter. I need a magma forge. That must be in workshops, right? Is it... V? Yes. Alright, go build that quick. I want to see the Rhythmic Plagues. Where are they? Oh, are they elves? Okay, we've got an elf dancer. A, is this a dwarf? Yep, a dwarven poet. Another elf dancer. And... A human poet. I guess they're the rhythmic plagues. Oh, look at them all. Oh, now there's a petition. Uh, no, I don't want a bard living here. Look at them. They're a big performance troupe. That's pretty sweet. Alright, how's that magma forge coming? Is somebody building that? Okay, the weaponsmith is. I assume. Where's he going? Oh, he's grabbing the anvil. <laughs> Every documented fortress never has its mind documented. They just magically find all the metal they need. <laughs> Alright. Now I assume the possessed dwarf is going to go down to that forge. Yes. Oh, but we don't have any metal bars either. That just occurred to me. Oh. Okay. Uh, he's probably going to want metal bars. So, uh, we need to keep building more floor here. Alright. Uh, do this, I guess. Marble. Uh, put some granite there. More marble. Okay. What's this petition? What? Milo Knight Run wishes to reside for the purpose of soldiering. I approve. Toulon for the purpose of entertaining? No. Soldiers are great, though. Who's this Milo? A human bowman. Okay. That's cool. Wait, what was this? Interrupted by a cave crocodile. Oh no. I hope it's not, um, 
coming into the fortress. Is anybody... Is it fighting anywhere? Uh, no, apparently not. Maybe it's just scaring the dwarves away and they're fine. You know, maybe they're fine. Wait, what's happening to the forge here? Why is it red? Wait, is it supposed to be red? Stop suspending that. <laughs> Wait, what's what's going on with these dwarves here? What's going on with the gem cutter? Why are you unconscious and faint and hurt like this? Oh no. Oh no. The cave crocodile is fighting. Oh, the cave crocodile is dead. Okay. We're fine. We can unsuspend those floors. I assume the cave crocodile didn't kill anybody. No, oh, no entertainers get to live here. We have enough visiting entertainers. We don't need that. Oh, we have a mayor already. The militia commander. We had some pretty fitting music come up again. This one is pretty fitting for a magma-like environment. Oh, we have so many visitors right now. What's going on? Oh no, are we still brewing? Okay, we're still brewing, so we're good on that. Who are they trying to give water to? I don't like that. Who's this? That's the mayor right there? I guess the mayor is sleeping. melt. I mean, yeah, we can melt some of the metal items we had lying around. I think... Let's see, if this guy's an armorer, then I want... Yeah, hematite, that's an iron ore, right? So I think I want to smelt that. Want an iron piece of armor. That ought to be really good. Let's see, magma smelter. Let's put that right there. Quickly now. More fitting music for a magma environment. something. No high boots may be exported. Does anybody... Stop listening to a story, furnace operator. Go construct that thing. What are you doing? Look at all these performers. This is ridiculous. There's way too many of them. Another bard visiting, of course. Somebody build this furnace. We need metal. Furnace operator, stop socializing. Oh, it needs architecture. Damn, okay. Uh, weaponsmith. Your job is now architecture. There you go. You're gonna go design a building? Yeah, you're gonna go design a building. That problem with surface dwellers not being able to get on the ground? Yeah, that's fixed, I'm pretty sure.
Because we're getting, like, lots of migrants and stuff now. No problems there. Oh, is it done? Oh, no. It's been designed. Now it needs masonry. Okay, come on, come on. Now, start smelting some hematite. Immediately. Oh, I'm pretty concerned for that gem cutter who's just kind of sitting there. He's thirsty and drowsy. He's having a lot of problems. Yeah, we don't have any way to give him water. That gem cutter might be a little doomed. furnace operating okay I'm gonna watch and make sure they do it all keep on going oh what else does he want by the way metal bars wood is that it I think that's it so we're pretty well set if that's all he needs we'll get some iron here tried some adventure mode earlier and got it's like having to relearn fortress mode. Wait, is he done? We have iron bars, man. Did you get those iron bars? Oh yeah, I think he's gone. He's probably off getting the wood now. He's begun the mysterious construction. All right. It's going to be made with iron bars and fungi wood uh, logs. All right. I am excited. Uh, we need more wood than that, though. There is not nearly enough wood in this fort. Need to cut down like every wood that's every tree that's underground. Oh yeah, here's a bunch of trees up here. We need to cut down all of these. <laughs> There's some motivational music to get the dwarves going. Is there any word yet on when the new version of Dwarf Fortress comes out? I heard October. And it's October now. Oh, what's going on down there? That's a giant bat. There's a giant bat attacking this dwarf. Oh, crap. Oh. Giant bat throws the carpenter by the lower front teeth. Oh man. That's pretty crazy. Carpenter slams into an obstacle. Oh. Oh, okay, well, it doesn't look like he got hurt, really. Come on, man. Fuck up that giant bat. Oh, well, it looks like he scared it off. That's good. If you mine out in channel 1 or 2 Z layers above the open areas, you might be able to have a taller cavern trees go grow. Yeah, maybe. Hey! He created Egef Dasnast, a thin iron greaves? What does that mean, that they're thin? <clears throat> the misery of steps. 
Let's see, this is a thin iron grease. All craft workship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with fungi wood. The object menaces with spikes of iron. Huh. Is that good? What does thin mean? Does that mean that it's made like to fit elves or something instead of dwarves? Or what? Oh god. Oh. Oh. My phone is ringing. Hold on. I meant to turn that off before I started streaming. Oh, the giant bats are down here like terrorizing everybody. It's not good. Kivish here. He's got a weak heart. He can't be fighting giant bats like this. This is a problem. Oh god. I hate this giant bat. Okay. Can I make a squad of... Oh wait, I already have this squad here. What's up with that? Why did I make that? Well, I'm gonna put the human bowmen in this squad. As far as I know, the only size DF tells you is small, meaning too small for your race, and large meaning too large for your race. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't we have another human who was a who was here for soldiering? Oh yeah, human hammer man. I need to round these dwarves up and have them come down here and fight this, uh, this bat. Where is it? This bat here. It's causing way too much trouble right now. Okay, it looks like it's killed. Good deal. some spring cleaning with the squad in the caverns? Maybe. We could also use an engineer here. Who's somebody with no job here? Let's see, we got farmers, planters. Let's get one of these just generic farmers. Oh, H, sir. Uh, what you missed last week? Um, the fort I had been playing on uh, died? There was a huge goblin siege, and it killed everybody. So now I'm on a new fort, where I reclaimed a pre-generated fort, something I've never done before. So it's been interesting. Like this whole courtyard out here was pre-generated. These rooms down here on the second level are pre-generated. It's been an experience. We get tons of bards and merchants visiting this place. <laughs> okay, so they were they were piling up these boars and giant rats down here since we didn't have a butcher shop. I think we need to just dump those. Oh, what's this? Hold on. We have a horse down here. That needs to be out in the pasture. Put that horse over there. Oh, the fishery worker gave birth to a boy just now. Congratulations. So the dwarves are already there. Oh no, there were no dwarves already here. Um, basically, this was a fortress that came up at World Gen and collapsed over time so my new set of seven dwarves just moved in and took over the place we learned through the creation of an artifact or something that this fort had fallen to a forgotten beast yeah 
So I'll show you this. This is pretty cool. Um, the fortress, the part that was pre-generated, it goes through a big magma pool, as it so happens. So we don't we don't really know what's at the lowest layers of the fort because they're all flooded with magma. Like this is obviously carved out fortress, but it's all full of magma. And I think, I assume it already, it goes down to, like, the bottom of the map, so... Yeah, we can't really see what's in the bottom parts of the fort, because they're full of magma. There was this tavern on the surface level that is now full of entertainers. They're constantly trying to live here. Oh, this elf poet is legendary at something. I don't know what. This visitor has come to perform. She heard the Oat of Breakfasts was the place to entertain people. I think that's the name of the tavern here. Wait, I think... I think I'm hearing... Oh yeah, if you, you've probably noticed, uh, I put up a... Uh, a video game playlist, so instead of the usual Dwarf Fortress music, we have random video game songs playing in the background. And I think this one has already played since I've been online. I'm not sure why it's playing for the second time, but I don't really mind. Yeah, the whole... the whole fort was sort of undiscovered when we got here. And a big problem with this map is no trees. So we have to get all of our wood from underground. Do I have... Yeah, I have a craft dwarf's workshop here. We should start making rock crafts on repeat. Never have enough of those. Okay, so I carved out a room down here and I don't remember why. I did that in the last stream a week ago, and I don't remember what that room was going to be originally. Are there any saplings on the surface? I don't know about that. Let me see. Oh yeah, oak sapling, chestnut sapling. So I guess we will have trees eventually, but I don't know how long it takes for them to grow. Oh, that's going to be a lot easier when we have that. Because I want to start like mass-producing cages for cage traps but I'm not really able to do that yet. I want a hospital too. Oh no! The gem cutter has been found dead, dehydrated. Oh yeah. This is the one who got fucked up by a cave crocodile, I think. And they had no way to get him, like no hospital to get him to and no water to give him. Yeah. Oh man. Do we have more coffins? No, we need more coffins. Uh, coffin. Let's make a handful of those. Oh, just bumped my mic there. <laughs> hmm. I have so much that I need to do here. I need to make a hospital. What am I doing with that? Let's put the hospital over here, I guess. It doesn't need to be a huge room. But there we go. Oh man, we have stressful music now. I should probably also think about a bookkeeper and a manager at this point too. Oh, who can be the chief medical dwarf? Does anybody here have any medical skills? Um, well, we have a surgeon. Congratulations, you're the chief medical dwarf. Learn to diagnose. 
who can be a manager? Um, siege engineer? Okay, you can be a manager. <laughs> oh, hey, look, this planter is a record keeper. There you go. Need to give them uh, offices now. Oh, we have two Irvads in office here. So let's see, do any of them have beds? Oh, this isn't even a bedroom yet. Let's assign this one to the manager. Gonna need a chair in there. Yeah, I was asking that same question in a previous stream. I don't know why you would ever choose to not have your stocks at the highest possible count. Like, I don't think it would save you a considerable amount of, you know, dwarven effort or whatever. Alright, so the manager has an office now. Let's see, that's the mayor's office. Okay, this is where the bookkeeper sleeps. So let's make that the bookkeeper's office. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's no real plus side to having less accurate stocks. chair now belongs to the bookkeeper. I guess we need to dig out a mayor-sized room here for those great dwarven nobles. Oh wait, hold on. How big does this need to be? I want to make sure it's the same size as a regular Dwarven apartment block here. Because the nobles are special. And just have your manager and bookkeeper be the same dwarf. I never really thought of that for some reason. Oh, what's the new petition? Ooh, another soldier wants to live here? Excellent. I am more than happy to take free soldiers. We probably need more beds. I'm thinking we need more beds. I just didn't want to like waste this precious wood that we have. Oh, not an armor stand. We have such limited wood. Oh, and I keep forgetting to put a hotkey in, like, the cave layers. I need to do that. Um, I'll do it, like, right here. Because we need a lot of trees down here. We need a lot of wood. I want, like, every tree that's down here on this layer. Oh, look at all the trees over here. Oh, there's so many trees. I want all of them. We're so short on wood for now. Petitions, entertainers, no. We need more coffins built. Well, more coffins placed, I guess. Four eventualities. You know, 
dwarven eventuality. You can have a manager bookkeeper, a manager broker, but if they don't have actual jobs, you can probably get away with one dwarf noble. Oh, well, maybe. Ooh, another soldier wants to live here. Perfect. If I get enough of them, I can probably just have a whole squad that's mercenaries only, you know? Alright. H, sir, do I have a dwarf named after you? I'm not sure that I do at this point. So let's... let's name you... Let's make you that, uh, bowyer there. Who is listening to a story. What are all these things on the floor here? A silver flail? What's that doing there? Whose silver flail is that? Pick that up. Mm. Oh, hey, we can start making mechanisms here. Yeah, make a bunch of mechanisms, because I'm going to want a bunch of, like, um, cage traps. Oh, hey, there's another new person. You're going to be a dwarf. You're going to be this engraver. Epic man. One, two, three, nine, one. That's you. <laughs> hey, you uh, epic man. How's it going? Alright, I want a furniture stockpile here. And I want a finished goods stockpile. Uh, the only mod... Well, I don't know if you would call it a mod. I just have a graphics pack. Uh, and the only purpose of it is to make the tile square instead of rectangle. I probably end up saying that at least once per stream. Sometimes multiple times. Yep. If there's one thing I want people to take away from these streams, it's that I prefer squares to rectangles. Alright, gotta smooth the noble's bedroom here. Well, I could maybe be fine with rectangle, but they're like twice as tall as they are wide, so it really bothers me. If they were going to be rectangles, too, I would at least prefer that they were wider instead of taller. Because, you know, monitors are wider than they are tall, so that would make sense, naturally. So it's weird to me that the game is like that by default. Oh, chat is harder to read on the screen when I have a bunch of white tiles in the background there. Yeah, my monitor is wider than it is tall. I give my dwarves chests and cabinets in the room. I usually don't. You mean, I mean just for the nobles I do. Is that just so they can store all of their random collected socks? H, sir, is, is your monitor taller than it is wide? I'm uh, a little concerned about that. And we're auto-saving because it's autumn. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I usually don't make a lot of chests or anything like that. Well, I'm especially not going to in this fort, at least not for a while, because we're really short on wood. All of our wood for now has to come from underground. No more destroyed or discarded clothes. Is that what they do? Are they, like, discarding all these clothes because they're damaged or something? 
We've got alpaca wool shoes and socks in here. I need to make more bedrooms here. What am I doing? We have way too many dwarves for how few bedrooms there are. There's 71 dwarves. And right now only like 24 bedrooms. I need to go ahead and carve out a lot more of those. some Kirby's adventure music, I think. A classic. Alright. Oh! Hey, the fishery worker was possessed in the middle of sleeping. Nice. What's the fishery worker gonna do here? Let's follow him. Hey, I guess it's the Crafts Dwarfs Workshop. Okay. I mean, that kind of figures. Once had a lava pit in my world, which went down like at least 70 or so Z levels. There's a pretty big lava pit in this map, also. Good evening, T.W. Croc. Of course, for me, it's still pretty much afternoon. Ooh. Oh, you had a magma pool in like the second or third level of caverns? Yeah, our magma pool, it's still pretty shallow here. It's up at like layer 67 here. There's a lot of amethyst in this bedroom floor. <laughs> the cotton candy was in that magma pool? Did the dwarves have a... did they have a fair down there? Did they attend the circus? Now we're striking. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, what's happening with this giant bat? Oh, God. Oh, the giant bat got into the fortress. Okay. Where is this giant bat? It's flying around in the forge. I don't like that. It's gonna, like, knock somebody into the lava or something. No fair yet, but we found the roof of the main tent. Yeah. Yeah, you can't let the dwarves get too tempted by cotton candy. They just can't help themselves. I want to make some bins. No, not barrels. Well, barrels are good too. But we need a handful of bins. Oh, he hasn't... He hasn't... Oh, he needs gems. I wonder if he needs cut gems. And thread? Ooh. Yeah, he probably needs cut gems for this. Then we need a jeweler's workshop. No, not a leatherworks. Which one's jeweler's? J? Okay, that's easy. Okay, this music... This song has definitely already played. I guess when I put it on shuffle on YouTube, it doesn't decide to, um, it doesn't take things out of the rotation. I mean, this is a really good song, but it's also really stressful. It reminds me of a difficult boss battle. Come on, jewelers, okay. Let's... Wait, we have cut gems already, it looks like. That must be left over from the... What do you call it? From the previous dwarves that live here. So then what we need is thread. Um... Okay. 
E1, M1. Is that the, uh... You mean the Doom music? Well, I just have a playlist going, but, uh, I have not added, um, any Doom music yet. That's something I should work on. Okay, I need... I think I need a farmer's workshop so they can spin some... spin something into thread here. Yeah, that is a good idea. I'll add that to my to-do list. Because I have, like, over 200 songs on the playlist right now, but not the biggest variety of games, I guess, because, you know, multiple songs from one game. There's a lot of Zelda music, because I'm a pretty big Zelda fan. Okay, um, can we spin thread? Maybe out of webs? Needs unrotten hair or wool body part. How, I know we have webs underground, so... How do I turn the webs into silk thread? We have webs, like right down here, right? Um, it is in a farmer's workshop? Oh, the outpost liaison is here, from Moses Sosh. Let's see if we have some rock crafts that we can offer them. We don't have a broker. We need a broker. Who wants to broke? Uh, how about this thresher? You're the broker now, because there's probably not a lot of threshing being done. Let's see what kind of goods we have here. Um, crafts? Here we go. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. All these rings and bracelets and earrings. None of them are in bins though, which is kind of a pain. Oh yeah, we have a lot of stuff to trade. Thanks to our predecessors. Oh, so many. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go move all of those to the depot. And request the trader. They just collect them. They just collect the webs and make them into silk if you have a spinner. Um, I thought there was like some kind of order you needed. Like, uh, maybe I can do it here. Collect webs? Yeah. Go out there and collect, like, five webs. Somebody go do that. Maybe that'll work. Okay, this is another song that has definitely already played. I have, like, 200 songs on this playlist, and three of them have repeated already. Okay, we have a... So in the last fortress we had, there was a goblin outpost liaison. Now we just have a good old Urist Mick liaison. Okay, what do we want? Uh, let's see. Anvils are nice. Bring us some anvils. That old blob, Forgotten Beasts. Oh. Uh, cheeses are good, yeah, let's throw in some random cheese. Some gypsum plaster is helpful. Uh, let's ask for some random meats right here. I don't even know what I'm hitting here. Uh, cave lobster, sure. What else would dwarves like? Silk thread, yeah. I think they would enjoy that. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's get some glass. I think they would like that too. Uh, okay, that's probably good. Alright, okay. 
Yeah, they want goblets and rings. Okay. We can do rings, I'm sure. Alright. Is anybody collecting webs? They're all still bringing the stuff to the depot. They have to collect all these random things that were here when we started the fort. This is why I wanted to make some bins. So we could, you know, consolidate some of this storage. Auto process and spinning. Isn't a loom more for making the thread into cloth, though? Um, that order hasn't been validated yet. I don't know if they're going to be doing that. Let's see, is our broker here yet? He's eating. Okay. Whoa, look at them Look at them go in the tavern there. Did you see them, like, run a little loop around the tavern? Hey, another new person. Hello, Jim Stick. I'm going to name a dwarf after you since you exist here. You're going to be this guy. There you are. You are now a proud Dwarven Mason. Hey, another person is here. You are going to be this ranger. Kupo. That's you. A ranger. Loom spins silk and makes cloth. Yeah, I think... Well, the possessed dwarf wants thread, he said. And I don't know... Don't know where to get some thread right now. Hmm. You know, we might be able to trade for it. I wouldn't be surprised if the merchants have some. Okay. Let's see if they have any thread that we can buy. Uh, they have a lot of wood, that's good. Let's see, rope. Lots of ropes. Why did they bring so much rope? Water skins, flasks, toys, cages. Oh, those are animals that they brought. That's good. I might get some of those. Barrels. Deer blood barrel. Uh-huh. Picks. Buckets. Mm, crossbows. Cloaks. Armor. Shoes and socks. Hmm. Pine chest. Bags. Bags. I need thread. Get some plaster. Okay, there's some cloth. Lots of cloth. Lots of leather. Cloth and leather. Cloth and leather. Please tell me they brought some kind of thread we can buy. Oh, they brought anvils. That's good. That's good news. Lots of meat. And cave fish. And lobster. Spinach. Oh, yes. Here we go. Cave spider silk thread. I'm definitely buying some of that. I'm gonna buy all kinds of thread here. Alright, let me go ahead and put, like, all of this crap up for sale. Because it's all crafts that we're not going to need. And I can buy a good amount of stuff here. Let's see. Let's buy... Oh, what did I just do? Let's buy some of these plants. Let's buy some cave lobster. That's nice. Cave fish. Why not? Oh, let's get some of this random meat here. Prepared intestines. Very nice. Let's get a handful of anvils here. Get like five anvils. Okay, let's get a bin of leather. Why not? A bin of cloth for those strange mood dwarves. Oh, it's so nice being able to just buy whatever the hell I want because all of these dwarves lived here before me. 
and made all these crafts that I can get rid of. Let's see. Let's buy some sand. Gypsum plaster, heck yeah. Gypsum plaster. They didn't bring a lot of plaster, did they? Oh, there's more gypsum plaster. That's good. Yeah. I want that for the hospital whenever we make a hospital. Chest, gauntlets. I think there's a lot of leftover armor, too, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Mm, barrels. I'll buy some empty barrels. I don't need a barrel of honeybee venom. That sounds a little extreme. Let's buy some Dwarven beer, why not? Barrels, Dwarven beer, Dwarven ale. Let's buy a few buckets just so I don't have to make them. Oh yeah, we can buy sand. This is a, this is a swanky fortress here. Flasks, oh, cages. Maybe I should get some animals here. Did they get any like breeding pairs that I can use? It doesn't look like they did. Oh wait. Here we go. Here's a male dog and a female dog. I'm sure we already have dogs but more dogs are always welcome. I'll buy a couple of ropes. Why not? Oh and I want all of this wood. We definitely need wood right now. We're very short on that. Oh wait, I'm getting like clay and loam here too now. Oh, we need to trade more. They're not making a profit anymore. Oh, it's so nice exploiting the wealth of our predecessors here. Glass, yeah. That's good for those strange mood dwarves. Uh, let's see. Wait, what is this? More poisons. I don't understand what that is. Oh, it's a scroll. Okay. Huh. It's a manual entitled More Poisons. It concerns the classification of toxic substances. Huh. Alright. They brought us a guide to poisons. That's... Neat. Buying all that sand and thread with blood money. Yeah. All those who fell victim to the Forgotten Beast. Oh, let's get some cheese. Why not? Get a few random cheeses. That'll make the dwarves happy. I think they'll enjoy that. Quivers, backpacks... Let's get some more yarn. Uh, what else? I think I'll buy more of the meat that they brought. Wow, I usually don't get to put this much thought into what I'm buying, you know? I can usually afford like one or two things. Oh wait, that's an anvil. You know what? What the hell? I'll buy all of their anvils. <laughs> I think that's all I want for now. Let's get a little more cloth. Why not? Let's get a little more leather. Why not? Oh, they need more. Okay. Um... Alright. I think I'm good now. Let's go with... this. Oh, that's not enough profit for them. Cannot fathom you ending up with all of those items. Alright, let's go with this. Oh, they don't like that either? Okay, I'll throw in the Pond Grabber Leather Bracelet. That ought to make you happy. Yeah, that was a good trade. 
Now we have so much stuff. Oh, guys, look. They spelled a word. It says, me. Those clever dwarves. Hm. Now, Scooterwick asked what tile set this is a while back. I forget exactly what it's called. Um, it has a name that's similar to the name of the default tile set, but if you go on my YouTube channel for the archived streams, I don't know if there's a link to that on my Twitch page here, but in the description of the archived streams, I, uh, I put a link to the tile set that I'm using. Hmm. Oh, the broker just gave birth to a boy. How nice. Oh, look at all this stuff we're getting. We got a bunch of wood now. Oh, it feels great. The mysterious construction is beginning. It's gonna have fillite, single cut praises, sheep wool cloth, rough red tourmalines, and pear wood logs. <laughs> Why not have a library? The dwarfs do like them. Yeah, I don't know. I, well, I haven't made a library yet because I'm still getting down a lot of the basics. I still haven't even made a hospital yet, which I need to get working on. And I need, like, a stockpile of metal bars and stuff. Uh, how much iron do I have? Because I should make some chains so I can make traction benches. And the bars right here. I have 12 iron bars. Okay, I can make some iron chains. Let's make like three of those, I guess. The first baby it will die by the hands of a horrible creature. Oh, I hope not. Oh, I forgot. I bought a couple of dogs from the merchants. So I need to put those down here and let the dogs out. I hate it when I forget to do that and then I just like leave the uh, leave the animals sitting in a cage in the depot. Look at those dwarves go. Uh, who's gonna let the dogs out? Ew. Ew. Hey. He has created this dunid, a philite ring. It's probably gonna be like the most complicated. It's the goldenrod rock. It's probably gonna be the most complicated, uncomfortable ring in the world. It's very valuable though, oh, 43,000 dwarf bucks. Let's see, encrusted. Uh, what else? Bands of sheep wool and pear wood, spikes of red tourmaline, an image of a chickpea plant in praise. Okay. All right. Wonderful. All right, this. Cage. Okay. Unassign that dog to it. What else is sitting there? Is there another item there? Why is there a wombat leather tunic there? Who put that there? A chick people. <laughs> yeah. Alright, no more stray dog in that cage. know what I wanted this side room to be. So uh, let's make an animal stockpile in there, I guess. Uh, what else? Let's see. I should start expanding the forge down here. Okay, the same song is playing for like the third time. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one. How do I do this? Play something else. 
This one is also played. What is going on with this playlist? Okay. Oh, hey, here's a song that we actually heard in a previous stream this week. And we heard it for way too long as I got lost in this level and had no idea where to go. Anybody who's just in here for the first time, I also like to stream Ocarina of Time at random times during the week and other occasional games. If you're down for that. If dwarves have no rooms, they drop owned clothing anywhere like the animals they are. I should also make a block stockpile over here. Uh, let's let's make this room a little bigger there. Which games? Uh, the big one that I'm doing is a playthrough of Ocarina of Time. I'm calling it kind of my redemption run because I never totally finished the game as a kid. I've seen the ending and everything, but never done it all myself. And right now I'm up to the Fire Temple. That's what I'm going to be doing next time I stream Ocarina of Time. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but I have like three days off coming up which is very rare for me. I'm using up vacation time. So during that time, I'll probably be streaming a lot more Ocarina of Time. Yeah, this is a pretty creepy song. It makes the fortress seem like, you know, something sinister is about to go down here. All right, let me... Bo -bo -bo dig out some more bedrooms. We have way too few bedrooms for how many dwarves there are. <laughs> that, that. Yes, this is Ocarina of Time music right now. This is the Forest Temple theme. Oh, whoops. I just played the Forest Temple last time I streamed Ocarina of Time, and I did pretty terribly at it. I, uh, got lost for a long time, didn't know where to go. I struggled quite a bit. But hopefully the fire temple is easier than that. Whenever I get around to that. Okay. More bedrooms. We really need a lot of these. Okay, okay. Also, if you guys have never seen it, there's this really sort of famous or maybe infamous uh, video of a guy who was, I don't know, doing maybe a, like a let's play of Ocarina of Time. And on his Forest Temple video, he was talking about how he was doing like original music or like an acapella version of the Forest Temple music. And it just sounded so ridiculous. Like for the whole background part, he's just like, <laughs> and I don't know, I want to say that that video is either not online anymore or hard to find, because I think he removed it, whoever it was. But it's so funny if you ever get to see it. Here's a classic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got this playlist on YouTube. I'm gonna hit the loop playlist button and see if that stops things from playing repeatedly. Uh, you can link an image. Uh, I'll click on it, I guess, if you're linking it. I don't know if it'll show up in the stream or anything. I doubt that it will unless I go to some sort of effort to do that. What is this image? Oh, I need more beds. Okay. Put some beds in here. All 
Okay. Man, I took all of the... All of the wood that I could from the merchants, and it still, still seems like we don't have all that much. Okay. Bed. I need... Uh, let's make like 30 more beds. It means we need to chop down a lot more wood. Get some wood down here in the caves. Oh, I see a troglodyte. I might need to send my military down there. Maybe I'll do that, actually. Where'd those troglodytes get to? There's at least one of them. Alright, guys. Go kill that troglodyte. Oh, what's happening now? Is it more migrants? It's more migrants just what everybody wanted. We already have like 72 dwarves, but no, we need more. Hmm. It's not Super Nintendo music unless you listen to it for hours on repeat. Oh, let me look, I'm gonna look at this image. Let's see what this is. Oh, nice, nice. It's a dwarf doing a menacing Jojo pose. Let me see, if it's easy for me to put that up in the stream, I'll do that for a second. Uh, let's see. I think it's browser source is what I need to do here in OBS. Let's do that. Boom. That was the that was the linked image. That nice little Jojo dwarf. Okay, taking that off now. So blurry. Okay. The merchants have embarked. They're all gone. Oh shoot, ah, what happened with those troglodytes? I need to check on that. Uh, I assume they killed the troglodytes, right? Huh. Okay. The mayor is using a silver short sword to attack these troglodytes. He just cut off a troglodyte's head with a silver short sword. The chat is unreadable. Is it... Well, is that just because uh, of the colors? So yeah, if there's like white stuff in the background, that's gonna make the chat hard to read. <laughs> I would outlaw all white stones if I could, but most of the time it should be readable. Oh, we need more tables and chairs. Rock, table. Let's make like 40 of those. Rock, throne. Alright. How's my woodcard dwarf? Is he busy down here? I hope so. Cutting some wood down here, huh? You want to see a Jojo fort? How would you make a Jojo fort? Aside from just... Like, naming all of the dwarves after characters. Which is not a bad idea, really. Of course, it would basically be just, you know, naming the dwarves after, like, American rock bands and stuff. Okay, we need more doors. Rock door. Make like 40 more doors. Oh, let me make sure all these bedrooms are actual bedrooms too. Oh, I never put a bed in this room. Let's do that. Seeing anything from Jojo and Dwarf Fortress combat logs would be awesome. Yeah, some crazy stuff would happen there. 
Hey, we're not brewing. We need some brewing to go on here. Because the dwarves are getting thirsty. And we have still not discovered any water. Let's make this metal forge bigger. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I should make some rock blocks. Somebody, I forget who it was, gave me a really good tip in one of these streams that rock blocks are much easier to carry. So the dwarves build things out of rock blocks a lot faster. Do we have bins yet? Not enough, apparently. <laughs> oh look, we already have some rock blocks over there. We need wooden bins. Wooden bin. I'll try and make like 20 of those. Hope we have enough wood. Joseph McUrist star falls prone. I want a door on the hospital there. That's going to be the hospital. Um, nobody has made these iron chains. We must not have like a metal smither. This furnace operator can be a general metal smither. Oh, look, this dwarf's name is Hallmark. That's pretty funny. Blacksmithing and metal crafting. I'm not sure what the difference is, but let's do that. <laughs> All right, they're almost done smoothing out the uh, the mayor's bedroom here. Let's go ahead and put the finest possible bed in here. There we go. <laughs> oh, I don't think JoJo is just a meme. I think it's a masterpiece, actually. <laughs> okay, so the mayor, he's gonna have a lot of demands here. Gonna need a table and chair in there. You know what, I'm gonna go really elaborate this time and make... Well, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna make his dining room and office their own separate rooms, but I don't think I wanna go with that crazy. Uh, they're trying to give water to each other. We must be running low on booze. Is anybody making those chains? Okay, somebody's making chains. Then we need traction benches. Make three of those. I get the feeling we're never gonna find a water source here. trees. We've almost explored like the whole underground, at least this cave level, and there's been no water. That's pretty troubling. Alright, we have the three iron chains. Oh, I should have the miners dig out some of the hematite, wherever that is. It's probably up here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see, auto mining ore and gems, right here. Oh wait, I can't click on it. It's in the weird dead zone. 
For whatever reason, I can only click on squares that are in, like, the upper half of the screen. <laughs> oh, I actually... I'm not going to be elitist about it or anything, but I read JoJo because... Um... Like, I'm in the bookstore on my breaks at work, and so I just look for random things on the shelf to read. And I picked up JoJo one day, because I was just like, oh, well, you know, it's manga printed in a hardcover. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Magma Forge toppled by troll? What troll? Excuse me? Excuse me? Where did this troll come from? What is happening here? Yeah, you stay right there. You stay and think about what you did. Okay. It's one dead troll. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. A swords dwarf used just used his copper scimitar to behead the troll. That's pretty great. Now we have to rebuild the magma forge. I think I like secretly made a really badass military. <laughs> Cause like they beheaded a troglodyte in combat, beheaded a troll in combat, and like not even really with great weapons. I mean, the first one was with a silver sword, which is supposed to be garbage. Okay, so he wants an office and a dining room. Let's give him a nice table and a nice chair. What's the nicest one we have here? Um, is there a way to sort this by value? I'll just... I'll give him this chestnut one that I guess has some kind of decoration on it. Oval cut gems in bobcat bone. Oh, it has an image of gems in bone. Alright. Oh, I can, I can look at them and... hold on. Oh wait, what did I what did I put there? Don't put that up yet. Uh, let's see. Did you head a dwarven city or sieve with weapons in their name? Um, me? I mean, I had the four uh, gem spears. Is that what you're talking about? Oh shoot, I just told them to build a random table. Oh well, I'm not going to think too hard about which one it is. Uh, let's see here. Let's give them this schist throne that's decorated with something. Fort gets hauled ring. Oh, this one is ringed boulders. I didn't pick that name because it's a reclaimed fort. Oh, we need a lot more beds. I can't even keep up with all the migrants. I feel like I'm playing the game pretty sloppily right now. I'm not taking care of all the dwarvenly obligations. What? My layout is not a swastika. It's completely different. Let's see, this is for the mayor. Uh, this is for the mayor. Boom. The swastika is an awesome layout. It's just functional. I mean, really. Uh, that's for the mayor. 
Uh, what else? What else does the mayor need? Chests and cabinets, right? Two chests. I don't have any chests, do I? Oh, I might. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go, I have a plum wood chest. And... What else, what else? Um... I have another plum wood chest. Oh uh, wait, yeah, another plum wood chest. There we go. Hey, we've struck hematite. Where was that? Oh, maybe in the hematite caverns. We found more hematite. How fortunate and unexpected. The name of my dwarven sieve? Oh, I mean, well, the fortress is called Ringed Boulders. I don't know what it is, like, at large. Somebody dump this troll corpse. What's it doing still here? Get rid of that. Let's see, we gotta smelt more hematite. I want lots of iron. Oh, something is rotting in the caves down here. Probably troglodytes. Yep, it's troglodytes. That's fine. Oh, what's the sieve screen? The Room of Sandals is our Dwarven Civilization. And the Bloated Ruthlessness is the Goblin Civilization. I guess no humans or elves. That's weird. <laughs> is nobody, um, cutting down trees? Yes, the carpenter is too busy building beds. Uh-oh. The mayor has banned the export of high boots again. He really likes boots. Uh, we need a cabinet and a weapon rack and an armor stand. Don't have a weapon rack. Uh, don't have an armor stand. We have a cabinet, though. Let's see here. Ooh, a zinc cabinet? A slate cabinet? Hmm. I'll give him this zinc cabinet. It's got some kind of jewels on it. And we need... an armor stand. Rock armor. Just one of those. Rock rack. One of those. Hmm. I want to make, um, I want to make a bunch of cages also for cage traps, but. I don't want to use, like, what precious little wood we have, also. Let's auto mine some more ore here. So I might have to make some cages out of metals. Like this, right here. Oop. Like this gold. I'm assuming that's gold, right? Yep, native gold. We'll make some golden cages to capture our enemies, right? Oh, and have we made rock blocks? Did I have them do that yet? Okay, that's being worked on. Hmm, do I have tables and chairs? I need to make the dining hall bigger. Oh yeah, lots of tables and chairs here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Did 
That's gonna help. I'm giving the dwarves a lot of work to do now. Uh, let's put some hospital beds in. There we go. Uh, we're gonna need tables next to the beds. They're gonna need traction benches next to the tables. They're gonna need chests. Yeah. If you ever get around to mass dumping all the stone in a room, it's very satisfying to see it clean and clutter free for the first time. I bet that would take a while. Even storerooms look cleaner with all the rocks taken out. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'll just make everything into rock crafts and rock blocks. That's my plan. of orders for all these dwarves. Oh wow, they already built that stuff in the hospital. I need to go ahead and make this a hospital. Uh, boom, hospital. And as soon as there is a hospital, somebody's going to rest their injury. Rock blocks weigh a quarter of a rock. Oh yeah. It is a lot less. We're saving again because it's winter. Sometimes they just refuse to move the one rock. Yeah, I hate it when they do that. Maybe some little issues like that will be fixed in the version we're getting in October. Whenever that is. Let me use whatever rock blocks I have right now to expand the forge. I'll pro I should probably just do it like a line or two at a time in case I'm running out of blocks. Let's use up these calcite blocks, microcline blocks, the most beautiful stone, and fillite blocks. Yes. Oh, hey, the weaponsmith gave birth to a boy. So many dwarven babies. Okay, I think bunnies need to go in pastures, right? Lambs do, horses do. Let's do that. We've struck topaz while we're digging up all this gold. gold. We're gonna have a bunch of hematite. They haven't gotten started on that hematite for some reason. Oh, they probably shouldn't. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say they shouldn't dig that up because you need a wall next to your ramps or whatever, but I don't think that's really a problem in this situation. Creatures can't climb block walls. Huh. That's interesting. weapon rack has been made, so into the royal bedroom it goes. Has the armor stand been made? No. to climb a rock block wall. Did I make Earman a dwarf here? You've been in chat a lot and I don't think I ever did. 
Um, you can be this armorer. Is it two E's and two R's? I think it is. Let's go with that. <laughs> Good thing you don't get invaded by cats, yeah. Okay, we need these bedrooms with doors. More beds. Also engrave the walls in uh, in the mayor's bedroom. Oh, look at that! They have already built that part of the forge there. Those blocks—they help a lot. Still got like 14. Uh, blocks to use here. So let's do this. Keep on making it bigger. There we go. <laughs> Attack the player's lag points. Oh, that troll is stinking up the forge now. Wait, what? Why did one of the dwarves just have like a red exclamation mark a second ago? What was that about? That was this weaver, right? What was that about? Were they in an argument? so many, like, more emotions that dwarves go through than they used to. He felt love talking with father. How nice. Hmm. He felt love when talking with mother. What a nice boy. Hmm. Oh, look at all that stink. You know, I should really, should probably put the garbage dump right next to the magma here, so they just toss things directly down into the magma. Uh, it's a garbage dump, there you go. Didn't I already put a garbage dump, like, outside here? Yeah, let me, how do I remove that? Yeah. Let's have the garbage dump be down by the magma. Oh yeah, I just took Mr. Wankman's advice before I even read it. We're just that connected. We are that much in tune. How are the rock blocks coming along? Ooh, still got a lot to make. I want to make somebody else a mason here. I don't think we have enough mason dwarves. Where is a fairly useless dwarf? Well, the fishery workers are all fairly useless since we don't have any water. Let's make this one a mason. There you go. <laughs> well, look at that, the walls are getting engraved. That ought to make our mayor pretty happy. Do we have that armor stand yet? No. Ugh. Hmm. 
what is what is this little arrow thing that this dwarf has made? An image of ballista arrows. All right. What is this? Sea talk plotted world of the human and moose or jump wave. The lions of wandering a rock. Oh my god. Okay. See, that's probably a plant. A shove of granite. A well-designed image of a willow. Alright. There's a picture of a dwarf, it looks like. Solon respect boats. Hmm. Okay. What's this X? An image of floodgates. Nice. Okay. Dwarves love flood floodgates. There's an image of the legendary large cup that we made. Oh, this is a forgotten beast. Oh yeah, this is an image of the forgotten beast rampaging in this fort in the year 27. That's more artwork relating to the fall of the fortress. Let's guess what this carving is. Is it an alpaca? It's an armadillo. Oh, okay. Close, right? Ooh, look at all the gems here. All these gems in this room. And copper bolts. Why don't I just go ahead and make this a gem stockpile? There we go, all the gems stockpiled in there. How are we doing on, like, beds and doors? I need a lot more of those. And how happy is the mayor? Still need that armor stand. I did make that in order, right? Oh yeah. It's gonna be a little while, I think. So the Forgotten Beast was a W, right? Oh, that's, that's an image of a giant walrus, actually. But this was the Forgotten Beast, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was the Forgotten Beast, so it was a W. That's interesting. Do I ever make gem spears in gem spears? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you can't really make weapons out of gems unless a dwarf gets into a strange mood. But I didn't make, like, gem-encrusted spears either, which probably would have been possible, maybe. Alright, how many of these bedrooms are actually bedrooms? We need more. Oh, I just realized that one didn't have a door. I'm gonna wait on that. Wait, did I just... No, I don't want them to remove that, just to not be a bedroom yet. Make those gem-encrusted spears. You know, I still could go back to gem spears. It's still around. It's just on an older version of the game. Make a diamond spear. That would be the best. Hmm. What do I need to work on now? Oh, another dwarf gave birth to a boy. Okay. Oh, we're still short on wood. Have any trees grown up here yet? Uh, I don't see any trees. 
We have to keep on venturing underground. Oh, I still have them designated though. The carpenter is just so busy. Alright, this bowyer right here needs to also be a woodcutter. Boom. Can't go back to older versions of Dwarf Fortress when the newer versions have so many quality of life things now. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think it's really possible to like convert an older save to a newer version, is it? It's not that I know of. I think they're fairly incompatible. Well, we managed to construct 30 beds. striking a lot of gems here, I guess. Maybe somebody is finally down here cutting wood. Yep. Nice. We need it. We're in desperate need of wood right now. Do we have that armor stand yet? Come on. Can I promote this? Let's increase the priority on that one. I want the mayor to be happy. One of your dwarves was completely drained of blood. Oh, oh sounds like somebody has a vampire. Mm -hmm. Oh, this dwarf is hauling blocks and moving pretty slow. What's up with that? Oh, it's because he's hauling like six of them. I guess that'll do it. We need that armor stand. Somebody made it, right? Where's the armor stand? <laughs> Kill the vampire and drop the body in the public well. I've kind of always wanted to do that with a fort. Like, dump a dead vampire in the water source, get its blood in there, and make everybody a vampire. Philite is one of the lightest stones. Oh, that's nice. That will help us with our many dwarven construction projects. What is this image? The goldenrod rock, the philite ring, okay. This is a cactus. Alright. Dwarves and nicknaming them Dio. Oh, it's not Philite? Okay. How many blocks do I have now? Oh, wait, wrong menu. Um, let's see. Blocks. Where are blocks? Oh, okay. Got a pretty good amount of blocks here. We can really start expanding this forge now. Let's see here. Oop. I don't think this song is in a TV show. This one's from Super Mario Sunshine. If it's in a TV show, I couldn't tell you which one it is. But it's definitely a Mario song. Oh my god, the dwarves are giving birth to so many babies. We've got so many little baby dwarves. Oh man, we have no weapons in stock. 
if if I'm, what I'm reading here is correct. Let's, uh... I'll just make, like, one more weapon rack, I guess. Uh, let's see. Where's weapon rack? Oh, well, armor stand works, too, because I want to make the barracks. I've heard this song today already, too. This one is played at least twice, I think. Oh, hey. Oh, the planter just withdrew from society. I like the sound of that. Where is that dwarf? Strange mood. Let's follow this dwarf. It's the Craft Dwarf's Workshop, of course. Missed the days when dwarven children could remove construction and farm. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, if it wasn't made by your dwarves, it doesn't count towards your fortress wealth. Wealth. If you have too many children, you have a lava source readily available, yeah. There's another baby. Another dwarven baby. Hey, the mysterious construction has started. Okay, the song definitely just played twice in a row. Well, it's pretty short, so I guess that's okay. stockpile for like metal bars. I think I'll do that on this layer. It's pretty close to the forge. Do that up here. I have enough lag from immigrants already. I don't need children. What are the miners doing? Come on. Do I really only have two miners? I thought I had at least three. Oh yeah, T.W. Croc, the first. Uh, died because he couldn't figure out how to get back to the surface. Well, let's make this room a hotkey also. Speaking of dying dwarves, are these all being used for burial? Okay, they are. Need to not allow pets though. <clears throat> It's a fungi wood scepter. Tinan Tunur Torselect. Tora Select. Check that out. It'd be cool if scepters could be used as weapons, you know. It is decorated with fungi wood. And adorned with hanging rings of fungi wood. It's gorgeous. It's a masterpiece. And now he's a masterful woodcrafter. Uh, let's see here. I want to remove some floor tiles so I can have some more smelteries here. Let's do that. We gotta expand the forge. More dwarven industry. Another dwarven baby. What is going on with these dwarves? Everybody's pregnant. Oh, the mayor is not quite happy with these lodgings. Let's see, I think we have some statues up here, right? Yeah, there's a mudstone statue. Let's put some statues in his bedroom. Need statue? What? I have a statue. I clearly have statues. Do they need to be in a stockpile to be considered real statues? Wait, I have a bunch of statues. 
Oh, I bet they need to be deconstructed. I bet that's what it is. Yeah. Let's deconstruct those. They removed the 10 FPS numbers for some reason. Hmm. Oh man, that's some crazy stuff. How, why does it say we still have no statues? I guess they're not in the furniture stockpile yet. Okay, now... Still good at meth. <laughs> I hope the mayor likes these statues. I hope they are sufficient. Nobody is collecting webs, but I guess that's not really so critical anymore. I want to get rid of that task. statue now are you happy still not happy mayors are never happy are they mm -hmm. oh my god another dwarf gave birth to a baby there are so many babies here I'm gonna expand the dining room some more We have a million tables. And a pretty good amount of chairs. Stand, so now I can make this an official barracks. Are we still brewing drinks? Keep brewing drinks. I know we got some from the merchants, but... Cannot reach sight. I bet that's because there's a dead dog in one of the spots. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know why they suspended one. Job item lost. Destroyed. Cannot reach sight. Why can't they reach that chair? Oh no, it's a different chair now. Don't suspend that. <laughs> Take note for the poor souls with 10 FPS in your fortress. A year takes 10 hours. Oh man. That's the point where... Dwarf Fortress becomes a watch a movie in the other monitor game. When your FPS when your FPS gets that low. Alright, we're gonna make some more magma smelters. I'm assuming that the little uh ten on the menu there where it says magma smelter means that there are ten magma smelters in this fort. And I can probably also assume that most of those are submerged in magma. Oh, we don't have any empty barrels. We need some of those. Wood, barrel. We'll make like 15 of those. I feel like putting some doors here in these little doorways, just because. Oh, 
Oh, did I ever? Yeah, okay, we carved out this room. So let's have a big old bar stockpile here. Mm, yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be just for metal bars. Well, no, it can be for all kinds, I guess. Yeah, the lower levels are completely flooded with magma. You can see there were ramps that naturally occurred in this fort that go down this far at least. Then after that, they just go deeper and deeper into magma. And see, this is more fortress that I can't explore because it's flooded with magma. I would like to theoretically make this forge room big enough that it reaches all the way to the walls. I think that would be nice. Oh, I also want to remove the bar stockpile up here. Because we don't usually need a lot of bars at the surface level. We need them down near the forge. So get those moving, dwarves. Oh, is the mayor happy yet? Okay. Wait, no, no, the mayor is still not happy with these lodgings. We need to go tear down some more statues. Are there more around here? Yeah, there's one. Remove that. Remove that. There we go. I'm gonna go grab another drink real quick, but I'm gonna leave the game running, so it's gonna be up to you guys to tell me what happens when I get back, if anything. Oh god, what have you guys done? I told you guys to watch the fort, and this happens? This is what happens when I leave my fort in you guys' hand for like 10 seconds? God. It's, uh, a great feathered serpent. A twisting jointed trunk and it moves deliberately. Beware it's deadly spittle. <laughs> what did you guys do? Okay, how could you do this to me? Uh, do I have any more mercenaries that I can recruit into this? Uh, what do you call it? Oh, we have a human axeman, okay. Anybody else? Oh, I don't think there are any other mercenaries on site right now. Okay. Silver lining is not made of fire. Or steel, yeah. Okay, uh... Alright guys. Let's put this military to the test. Go kill him. He has deadly spittle. I'm not sure what that's gonna mean. Holy shit, look at how fast it's going. Oh, what's it doing? It's spitting at the dwarves. Oh god, oh god. Oh, look what happened. Okay. 
That's um That's a mutilated corpse of a sheep, I think. That's a dwarf. This fucking song is playing again. Okay, I'm skipping this one this time. That needs to stop. Okay. Uh, let's see. What happened to the herbalist here? The herbalist scratches the forest titan in the body, tearing the scale and bruising the fat. The, the herbalist lost hold of his hood. Oh god, the forest titan bites the herbalist in the neck and the severed part sails off in an arc. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay, what's, what's the forest titan doing now? It's spitting at the livestock. Oh, it really fucked up that horse. What happened to the horse? Oh. Forest Titan shakes the stray horse around by the head and the skull collapses. Oh god. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Okay, guys. Uh, the military is going in the wrong direction now. Uh, where, where, did the, where did the monster go? Where's the Titan? Okay, cancel that. I'm reordering you to kill this beast if you can. I'm not too optimistic about these odds. They found the herbalist. Okay. Whoa. Who's this? Why is the fishery worker fighting here? Uh. Oh god. Oh, it's covered with sheep blood and dwarf blood. Uh, I think another silver lining is serpents don't have a whole lot of body parts to target, so the odds are fairly good they're going to attack it in the head and go for a kill, a killing blow. Oh boy, oh what's happening here? The fishery worker is dead, but this, this hammer dwarf is putting up a hell of a fight here. The trunk has been severed. All right. Oh, this is the mayor. <laughs> the mayor of the dwarves here is uh, fighting this forest titan. Oh, let's see. Her head is torn open. Her head is gushing blood. Her left eyelid is cut open. Her left lower leg is bruised. Her upper spine is mangled beyond recognition. Oh, I think this dwarf is going to be paralyzed. Oh, okay. Come on, hammer dwarf. Oh, the axe dwarf there died. Uh-oh. A weaver was just elected mayor, so okay. The dwarves have a very fast electoral process, you will find. Okay. But here comes a swords dwarf and another swords dwarf. They're competent. They're competent swords dwarves, maybe a little rusty. They're gonna do it, right? They're gonna destroy this forest titan. It doesn't have its trunk. I mean, how good can it really be at this point? Its trunk is gone. Its tail is gouting titan blood. Hmm. Its head is dented, its head is bruised, its tongue is cut open. Oh joy. Oh yeah, it did have feathers. Come on, military. Why is every dwarf in the fortress coming out here? What are they all doing? Are they all fighting? Is it still alive? Oh. That's a lot of dead dwarves. Oh my god. Are they at least, like, doing a good job against it? I don't know why every dwarf in the fort decided to dogpile this forest titan. But I hope it's like for the best that they're doing this. Ugh. 
Look at they're still going. Oh, what's this legendary dwarf? Oh. Uh, a legendary woodcrafter. Well. Uh, here comes a human axe man. I don't know why. Oh my god, look at this. Now there's rhesus monkeys also around here. Oh man, it's tanky. They're still fighting it. And they're fighting the monkeys now, too. Oh, I think all these dwarves are coming out here to try and bury the dead dwarves. But since the forest titan is still here, they're just dogpiling it. Oh, and the FPS is tanking. Oh. No more nobles. Interrupted by a rhesus monkey. Oh! Hey, they killed it! Who finally did it? Who finally killed the forest titan? Oh, man. Where is it, anyway? Oh, here it is. Okay. I don't know if we can figure that out. Was it the weaponsmith? Um, let me check on that. Weaponsmith, did you kill it? No. I don't know who killed the beast. I would like to know, though. Now they're killing all the monkeys. Well, that's good. The monkeys have it coming. I hope they butcher the forgotten beast. <laughs> it probably died from blood loss rather than an actual killing blow. Because it was bleeding pretty heavily there for a while. I love how the dwarves just, they don't fuck around, they just kill the, the monkeys. What's he placing in the tomb there? He's got a dwarf's fifth toe there. You gotta collect every piece, you know. <laughs> Do we have enough coffins right now? Probably not. I think a lot of dwarves died there. Let's put some more down here. It's monkey brains for dinner. Yep. Oh, we need more coffins. I probably need to make like 20 of those. <laughs> Realistically. Well, if anybody's wounded, we can try out the hospital. Oh, the chief medical dwarf is wounded. Oh, uh, that's a problem. We need a new chief medical dwarf to do the diagnosis here. Uh, what other medical dwarves do I still have? Do I have any? Uh, I don't think I do. All right, well, peasant? You can be the new Chief Medical Dwarf. Congratulations. Oh, just one as a new doctor? Oh, you might be right, actually. Hold on. Go back to the original Chief Medical Dwarf. Who was that? Irvad? Yeah. Hold on, who was it? Irvad Tobuladin. You can still be the chief medical dwarf. Where is that dwarf? Um. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, there it is. The surgeon. Okay. Yeah, but I need a peasant who can be a diagnoser, right? Okay, I know you probably know nothing about healthcare, but now you're a diagnoser, you're a surgeon, you're a bone setter, you're gonna do stitches, and you're gonna dress wounds. Welcome to your new, uh, profession. And who's this over here? Rith the Weaponsmith is resting. Oh, you don't have it bad. Killed one rhesus macaque, nice. Let's see. 
Her left hand is cut open. Oh, you'll be fine. The chief medical dwarf is in a lot more trouble. <laughs> I like the thought of the medical dwarf having to, like, talk this peasant through the whole medical procedure. How many of the military got killed? Oh, we only have, what, four left? So really, only three of the military dwarves and people um, got killed, so that's good. A Beat Mario music plays. <laughs> Always oh, putting them on the operating table, okay. Let me see, let's check on your health here. Ability to stand lost, ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Um oof, lots of things cut open. Pancreas is cut open. Oh, that's a lot of problems. Lower body skin is cut open. Legs are cut open. Diagnosis required, crutch required. Needs cleaning, needs dressing. It needs a lot. This dwarf is in trouble. Evaluated twice. Compound fracture of foot repaired, okay. <laughs> so that was our first attack, yeah. Forest Titan came in, and we did all right against it, I think. We had a few dead dwarves, of course, but you know, who wouldn't? <laughs> Going to play some Sims 3, have fun, Epic Man. Interrupted by a troglodyte. Oh no, where do we have troglodytes? Are troglodytes invading the fort right now? Oh, this is a problem. Okay, we need to get the remaining military here. Attack this troglodyte. Fort time. Where is the troglodyte? What's it doing here? Overcome by terror? It should be. Wait, where did it go? I wanted to follow it. Here it goes. It's in our stockpiles! Kill it! Yeah! Yeah, get that chocolate. Awesome. the troglodytes and tame them. Uh, I don't know about that. I'd rather just kill them. I'm gonna be really glad when we get some trees on the surface. Oh man, we still have dead dwarves up here too. And nobody's butchering the forgot or the forest titan. I wish they would. Now since it's saving, I'm gonna BRB just a second. is experiencing emotional shock. Oh, and we have another baby dwarf. Hmm. Well, I've seen them butcher forgotten beasts before. Of course, this is a titan, which I assume is kind of the same thing. 
who's this? Oh, that's the mayor. I thought it was a medical dwarf just wandering around for some reason. What's going on with H, sir, here? All on Dyke mobbed is dead? Ah, uh, uh. Shocked at the unexpected death of somebody. He grieves at somebody's death. Oh, no. Oh, poor H, sir. Who was Olan Bank Mob? Was that a friend? Hmm. Oh, he's related to Jim Stick, who was also in the chat, at least for a minute. Um. Oh, I think it was his uncle. I think that's who that was. Poor old H, sir. His uncle died. Oh god! Are you kidding me right now? Oh man, we just got over the hill, Titan. Oh no. This is not good. Um. Okay, what I might try... I don't know if it's going to work, but I might try to wall off part of the fort and just not let them in. Uh, I wonder if they could build a wall in this upper part fast enough, or if the invaders would get there too quickly. He's shotgunning, I don't know about that. Oh god. What's a point that I could build a wall that we can fall back on? I don't really know. I think... Okay, well this might be the end of the fort, but I might be able to build a wall right up here. Maybe we can build this fast enough. Oh, but there's already constructions here. Maybe we can build it right here, fast enough. Um, would it be faster to carry logs or blocks? Logs would be pretty fast, right, I think? I mean, faster than stone, right? But can the goblins tear down? They won't work. Whichever is closer. Well, I mean, stone is close, but it's also heavy, right? Can't build walls diagonally. Oh well, yeah, so somebody would get stuck outside, which, uh, compared to losing the whole fort, would be an acceptable loss. I'm gonna use the fungi wood. We'll see if they can do that fast enough before the invaders get in. Oh, I think they're starting the advance, like, immediately, though. Yeah, they're already charging in. I thought maybe they would take a minute to gather at the edge of the map. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, god, they're getting in. They're getting inside already. Oh no, they're already inside. Maybe all these visitors in the tavern will fight and help us. Oh god, it's just chaos up here right now. Yeah, the wall is no good. The wall is a bust. We're not building the wall. I hope there are like some really badass soldiers in our tavern right now who are gonna fight for our fortress's survival. Oh man. Oh, it's gonna be a slaughter up here. Of dwarves and soldiers alike. And goblins. Everybody's dying up here. How many invaders are there? It's a lot. It's... Mm, yeah. It's a lot of them. This is about how many 
attacked my last fortress and made it eventually collapse. Oh. Oh god. I like how all of these performers are just hanging out like nothing is happening. Being as useless as ever. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, our, our population is down to 46. Yeah, I hadn't built any traps yet, I hadn't really gotten to that point yet, and the military... Well, after the, uh... After the... what do you call it? After the Hill Titan attack, or the Forest Titan attack, the military was down to about four dwarves. Oh. Okay. Um... We have not really reduced the invaders' numbers very much. We have two military dwarves left. I guess I'll just move them up this way. Assuming they're not already fighting. We had about 80 dwarves before the hill or the forest titan. Hmm. I really thought I would have more time than this before the first siege. Oh, what's happening now? Somebody had a baby, of course. Of course, a dwarven baby was born in the middle of the invasion. Oh, well, new mayor. Dwarven baby found dead. Okay. The mechanic is grieving. There's gonna be a lot of grieving if anybody survives. The performers are still sitting up here being useless. What are they doing? What are they doing? Socializing. Socializing. Everybody's socializing right now. That's their job. In the middle of a goblin siege. Hmm. Yeah, the last fort. I really should have just done something really cheaty and put like a drawbridge blocking off the entire fortress at the entrance. Because this just, ooh, they're already down in the bedrooms slaughtering dwarves. Mm. Nobody's, oh, there's a goblin right there down by the forge. Yeah. Oh, they're in the metal stockpiles, slaughtering dwarves. Yeah. So, still a full page of invaders versus eight dwarves now. We have eight. And four of them are children or babies. But the important thing is there's still a mayor resting in the hospital. That's what really matters, is that Dwarven democracy has not failed at this point. Oh, all of the dogs are dead now, okay. Hmm. They're probably about to find the hospital. I think, is, yeah, Beak Dog got in the hospital and killed the mayor. Uh, now Jim Stick is the mayor. He's picking up equipment way down here in the caves. I'm not sure what kind of equipment. Let's follow him and find out. What's he after? Oh, there goes a beak dog. <laughs> yeah, who knows what he's trying to pick up, but he's the mayor now. And he demands respect, really. He is the mayor of four dwarves, but that is a title he holds in high esteem. Oh, and Beak Dog is after him. What is that? That's a giant cave toad, okay. 
which has been given a name, presumably, from killing so many dwarves. Mayor, he's tired. Understandably, you know, he has a lot to deal with. He has a lot of administrative duties these days. He's going for a drink. Let's see how that goes. Let's, let's see how he does. Let's see how he fares in getting a drink. <laughs> Did you see those goblins? Just a whole crowd of them in the caves. But the, ch the cave toad is dead, so that is good news. Oh, it's only a few goblins, you know. It's fine. A weaver has been missing for a week. This invasion has been going on for a week. Uh, the next fort, I'm probably not gonna do a reclaim. I might actually reclaim the first or second fort that I made. Not the first one, because that was a haunted glacier and that was a terrible idea. But I might reclaim the second fort that I had made. Just because, you know, it works pretty well to be working in the confines of construction that I made and that I'm familiar with. Mayor is having some trouble here. I think he would be better off if he could find a weapon somewhere. <laughs> Did the goblins leave? Well, it still says siege up there, so I don't think so. Oh. Oh, nothing is moving right now. Okay, yep. That's the final sign right there. Embark with a military. I don't know about that. I'm probably just going to do like a really cheaty strategy next time and like... Um... What do you call it? Just dig a moat that nobody can get out of. Alright. Well, let me see. I guess since the fort has died, I'll probably call this the stopping point for the week. Um, so next week, whenever I start streaming, I can start fresh, brand new, with a new fort. And... Oh, if I'm reclaiming the old fort, the goblins may be there? Well, I'll try that when I... Um... When I try that next week. I'll try it next week, and I will see if the goblins are still there. If they are, then I'll just keep on reclaiming that fort repeatedly. Um... If I have to, I'll just take a lot of military excursions to be there. But, uh... Actually, you know, what would be really convenient is if I call this the end of the fort, and then by next week, the next version comes out. That would be amazing. But if not, then we'll just make a little excursion into my previous fort. But yeah, it's over. Our strength has failed. But whatever happens next week, I think it's going to go better. Either reclaiming the fort or starting a brand new one on the new version, if it's out. Hopefully it's still coming out in October. But, yeah, I will see you guys then. Um, I'm going to be offline for a few hours, but I might get back online later tonight to play Zelda or something like that. So, we'll see. Uh, stick around. If you're here late at night, I'll probably be online again. Thanks for tuning in and helping everybody. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It was great seeing you all again. <laughs>